Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store. I am really looking forward to seeing what else is in store for, for us this week, considering we're moving through that gateway of the Lionsgate portal. So that's active right now. So I'm curious what uh, what else we have in the, in the cards. So I'm just going to get right to it here. So let's give it one more shuffle. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. There are lots of things for you to see here, but let's dive into this card reading. All right. I have a feeling I would see that one. Four. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I like this. Okay, so what we have, I'm gonna actually read this backwards because I'm gonna build the journey to the outcome okay but we're going to go in reverse so the outcome that we are wanting to focus on here is the ace of cups okay so the ace of cups is like new love new connection new idea new emotional abundance something new that really fills our cup essentially this is the beginning of a journey something new and so what's interesting is that we have made a lot of space for this new to come in this is what a lot of the cards before have been about of like make space clear up stuff notice your triggers cycles ending this is saying there is this new beginning here so for some you're already at this new beginning you're like yes i know exactly what that cup is it is ready and i see it filling yes it's here for others of you you might be kind of wondering like where is this coming in or where should I look or is it coming in for sure? You may think that your cup is starting to fill, but you're kind of questioning, like, is this for real or not? And so the good news is, is the answer is yes, essentially, because the card that we have to start with is the chariot. This is um, a card that represents completions as well. Not as much as the world card, but it is the act of completing. So it is the movement towards completion. This is a victory card. This is a momentum card, things put in motion to achieve victory, to achieve completion. Plus this is a major arcana card, so it has an even bigger influence. Now, what I really like about this, the fact that this is our beginner card, this is our end card to you know, get the chariot running towards the Ace of Cups that we want. The supporting energies in between that are the Page of Swords and the King of Cups. So what's really cool about this is the Page is pages are like energies of something it's the thought energy let's yeah let's just keep it as the thought energy so what your thoughts can create is the energy of pages and page of swords is all about kind of the mental sphere so this is saying as this momentum is just flying here make sure your thoughts are aligned with the outcome you want so this is really important not to let kind of doubt based thinking come into play um, you know, getting pulled under by triggers instead having them show themselves and get active uh, with it, be proactive with it. This is just saying, take what you are noticing in your mental sphere and work it in the way that it is going to help bring you to this energy of King of Cups. Because from the energy of the King of Cups, this is knowing who you are on the emotional side. This can also be a divine partner pairing coming in on the emotional heart space side. But by standing in that energy of knowing who you are in your heart space, because again, cups are all about the heart space, you bring in this new beginning, this new energy. It's all about where you place yourself in your mental and emotional energies today. How are you holding yourself? What thoughts are you feeding your mind, body, and spirit? How is your heart feeling? That's what it's asking you to step into and then solidify your position. Because again, we have fast movement, momentum, moving things in the direction we want. And the direction is this new cup, this new beginning of heart space, romance, uh, deepening of family bonds potentially, but also can be bringing like a dream and desire to the surface, to reality. So again, it all has to do with what you are thinking, feeling within you. So make the most of that. Make sure you pay attention to what comes up and change or shift things where you need or focus extra intentions where you need because you get to make the most of this amazing energy of this gateway right now. So 
very, very cool reading. I really like this. Um, it really puts a lot on our plate, but in a good way in terms of manifestation. So awesome. This is really awesome. So I'll leave that with you guys. Uh, I hope this helps inspire you today and helps you kind of think of where you can focus your attention on for the day. And we'll see what comes tomorrow. So thanks again, you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow.